Today, I'm going to show you how to rank number one with Perplexi using a very powerful workflow that I've just discovered. And it is an absolute game changer, especially when you combine it with ChatGPT Canvas. I'll show you exactly what I'm talking about. This is a brand new workflow. I've never used it before. I've never shown it before publicly on my channel, but it will help differentiate your content and take it to a whole new level. Now, bear in mind, Perplexity's website is actually an amazing case study of how powerful SEO can be when you combine it with AI in the right way. So you can see, for example, they've grown to nearly 3.4 million traffic, as you can see down here. They are absolutely flying. They actually started off January last year with only 4,000 traffic, and that has grown to 3.4 million traffic using AI. And I'm gonna show you how to leverage AI to rank number one with SEO to get more leads, traffic, and sales. And I'm gonna give you the whole workflow for free, step by step. So the first method that we wanna start off with is by going into Perplexity, and you're gonna start a new thread. And inside here, you're gonna use this section, right? This will help differentiate your content add more facts to it, and also insert more information gain that's gonna separate your content from everyone else's and make it 10 times better. So as an example of here, what we're actually doing is using Perplexity and leveraging its AI to essentially research the article we wanna rank for, right? So you can see here, for example, I've said, do this and label each section, and I'll come on to why that is in a second. And then you can see on section one, we want some information about the three core themes of my article, right? So for example, if I'm trying to rank for SEO training in Oxford, and this would work for any niche, any industry, any keyword, et cetera. Then inside here, I'm going to put Oxford SEO and the person who wrote it. Now, the reason that I'm going to insert information about myself in there is that I want to write this content in a completely unique way that is adding something new to the SERPs, right? Otherwise, you're just reiterating the same information that's already on the SERPs and not really providing any value inside your content, which is going to make it harder to rank that AI content, right? So we don't want anything generic. And this is why we also want to automate external links inside our content. So you can see here, I've put, give me 20 relevant external links related to guides, SEO training Oxford, just a raw URL, nothing else. This should be a nice list. Now we only want the raw URL inside our external links because that's gonna make it easy for AI to reference that raw URL when we plug it in somewhere else, which I'll come on to in a second. And then finally, we're gonna say, give me some stats and case studies related to my keyword up-to-date list out in bullet points so it's easy to understand. Also, when we get that information, when we get the research back, we want it to be written naturally. Obviously, we don't want any hallucinations. Double check the data, fact check it, and also keep the research simple because it's gonna be referenced inside our article, so we don't want any sort of AI fluff, and then cut out any fluff. And from here, if we hit enter, what it's gonna do is use a pro search, and it's using a beta version of reasoning which is a very powerful way of doing research. And as you can see right here, it's like, right, section one, section two, section three, organized. And if we scroll down to the research, it's separated the research, so it's easier for our AI to reference it when it's writing the SEO content later. And so you can see here, it's sourced information about me. Now, obviously when you're doing this, you wanna vet it a little bit, right? I would definitely recommend vetting those statistics just to make sure you're not sourcing any BS because obviously this is the foundation of your website. And now you can see it's actually come back with sources for each statistic that Perplexity sourced, right? So for example, like the number one result on Google is 10X more likely to get a click compared to the 10th. Some really good research and interesting statistics that we can insert inside our content to number one, make it more interesting. Number two, make it more engaging. Number three, rank it better. Now, I would just double check the external URLs and if you need to reconfirm them or if it's hallucinated, which every AI can do, this is not perfect, then you can actually give it a singular prompt like you can see right here and that solves the problem. So you can see now it's come back to us with a list of external URLs that we can insert inside our content, right? Remove any competitors and you should be good to go. So we have our list of external URLs here. We have our list of data and facts, as you can see as well. And we have the research that is specific to our industry, our niche, and also to me. So now you've basically got custom built up-to-date knowledge that you can insert inside your content in a second. And by the way, all the prompts and everything that I'm talking about today, you'll get access to for free at the end of this video. Now we've got all the external links, we've got the stats to cite inside our content, and we've got the information about us, right? All the research is done. What we can do here, this is what I would prefer to do for content creation, is go over to ChatGPT and select ChatGPT 4.0 with Canvas, which is obviously the new update from OpenAI that just came out recently. And we can take this prompt that I've created that takes a keyword, it takes a source context about me, so it's all personalized to me and my brand, it's got the writing instructions that I've tailored over the last sort of 12 months to improve the content. 
It asks to insert relevant internal and external links based on my website sitemap. And all of this can be customized to your business. You just switch out the information about my website for yours and the keyword, etc., and all the context. And then finally, I've added in the entities, which you can actually get for free from tools like Zista, or otherwise you can use paid tools like Phrase or Surfer. And then finally, we want to remove the negative AI words. And basically what we're trying to do at every step of this process is remove any footprint that our content was written by AI, which is not easy, but that's why we're using such a well-prepared prompt. Now I'm going to plug in this information, the prompt that I've just shown you, and then we're going to take the external links, the research and the research that is relevant to this topic. We're going to say at the bottom of the prompt, prioritize the knowledge below plus use it naturally throughout the article, right? We've pasted in all the information from Plexi right there. We'll hit enter. So and now you can see that it's actually written the article or it's still writing it, as you can see, relevant to all the information that we've given it, right? So it's even started out with a fact that was sourced from Perplexity, which you can see right here. So that was sourced from Perplexity and the content itself is really nicely formatted. So it's cut out all the fluff. So for example, 68% of all online experiences start with a search engine. That's huge, right? Feels very human in the way that it's been written, but it's well referenced and well resourced. And this isn't very generic. At the same time, it's optimized for the keyword. So it's inserted and front loaded the keyword inside the title and created something that is super unique and relevant to the topic. And then it's created a sort of clickbait hook to keep people reading in the headline. Now, also what you can see here is inside the content, it's written it from my perspective. So it's like, hi, I'm Julian Goldie. I've been in the SEO game for seven years, blah, blah, blah. And then it hooks people in to keep reading with the keyword utilized inside this sentence. And even the titles include the keyword as well. So it's all contextually, so it's all semantically optimized as well using the entities that we've talked about. And additionally, this is contextually relevant to the topic. So obviously this article is about SEO training in Oxford. And you can see here, it says whether you're a small shop near Oxford railway station or a tech startup by the University of Oxford, getting noticed isn't easy. You also see that within the content is formatted the relevant entity. So for example, like SEO training and it's inserted relevant facts throughout. Now, additionally, what you're going to find here is that it subtly sells the training programs I have. So for example, and if you're interested, here's how you can join the SEO elite circle. And if you click that link, it will link directly to my sales page. Didn't have to insert it manually. It automatically used it from the prompt that I gave it and showed you earlier. It's also linked to relevant pages from my sitemap selected the most relevant anchor text and you can see right so for example you can see that right here it's answered some faqs but it's also created faqs that are relevant to what i'm trying to sell right so for example is seo training worth it that's going to be an objection before someone buys the seo training and then it answers that right here it's also because of the research it's also answered information about the current challenges in 2024 so this is not like generic stuff that chat gpt was trained on five years ago you can see here how it says Google is constantly changing in 2024 and AI driven search engine optimization changing the game. Finally, it adds plus all the content is chopped up and there's not much fluff in there at all. So really powerful prompt, pretty nice. Honestly, this sort of content is not far off just being ready to publish at that point because like the formatting is right. The internal links are right. The content, the semantics are right. And it even has CTAs throughout the content. So I don't even need to insert that myself. Additionally, it's cut out all the AI fluff words because we gave it a list of negative AI words to avoid. And that is an absolute game changer when it comes to creating content. The one thing that I would improve because it's not done it right here is inserting external links inside the content. So see, so sometimes it seems to do it. Sometimes it doesn't. I think that's because the prompt is very complicated and very long winded. It's probably about 1,500 words itself in the prompt that you're inserting. And so if you need to insert more relevant external links inside your content. I'm going to say sprinkle in three to five external links using some of these resources, right? It's going to edit the content. And now you can see there's actually inserted these in external links here. Now, again, you don't want to be linking to your competitors. So make sure you cut that out, but you can see here how easy it is to automate the external links as well, because you're sourcing the information from perplexity that's doing the research for you and then ChatGPT Canvas can insert it naturally throughout the content. Now, the other reason that I would recommend using ChatGPT with Canvas for actually creating the content, not perplexity, 
is that you can edit stuff in real time without going back and forth, right? So for example, if I'm like, oh, this hasn't got any external links, I don't want to rewrite the whole article again. Okay, let's use this prompt right here to automatically re-edit what we already have in a very automated way. So thanks so much for watching. What I've actually done is broken this down into separate parts. You've got the complexity part right here for sourcing the research. You have part two for creating the content on ChatGPT with Canvas. And you just customize and fill in the blanks for your website and your brand. And I've also shown you how to avoid hallucinations, to double check the statistics and external links inside the content using these prompts right here. So thanks so much for watching. What I'm actually gonna do is I will take all the prompts from today so that you can get free access to it. Just go to the link in the comments and description for my free SEO course. This comes with over 160 lessons, SAPs, tutorials, workflows, etc., on how to get more leads, traffic, and sales with SEO, as you can see. And once you've logged in, go to the free SEO course, then go to Perplexi. And inside this category right here, I have a new section called Custom Research and Knowledge, and you can get access to the video notes down there. Now, if you want to get everything that I've talked about today tailored, custom made, to your business to get more leads, traffic and sales from SEO based on what's working for us, feel free to book in a free SEO strategy session. That is available, link in the comments in the description. And we'll show you how we take websites from zero to 145,000 visits a month and generate thousands of dollars in sales. Now this free link building acceleration session will grow your business because it's gonna give you a free SEO domination plan. You'll discover the secrets of link building, we'll answer any questions that you have. You'll learn the best link building strategies for your website, plus how to outrank your competitors in link building and 10x your SEO traffic based on what's working for us. Feel free to book that in, link in the comments in the description. Appreciate you watching, bye bye.